Hey everybody, it's Jason Webster from Divided Acres Farms, and today's the big day. Today's the day that we head out to Zanesville, Ohio, to Greg Burns' Nature Image Farm to pick up the five package bees that we had ordered back at the end of February. We ordered these to replace some of the dead outs in the bee yard that we have. From our little farm in Greene County, PA, out to Zanesville is about a two hour, two hour and 10 minute ride. So we're about 45 minutes into the ride now, so we'll be there shortly. At one o'clock, Greg is actually going to do a package bee install, and I'm gonna film that for you guys along with the package pickup and a little bit about Greg's uh, setup out there. And I wanna go ahead and apologize for the video if it's a little shaky. Unfortunately, we are driving on PA roads right now, and PA has more potholes in the spring than we do spring flowers. So it's just one of those things you gotta learn to deal with. So, but we will be there here shortly, and then we're gonna get some uh, footage out there around his setup and his style. Um, I think it's gonna be a good time. I'm excited to meet Greg in person. I got to talk to him just a little bit down at the Hive Life this past year down in Tennessee back in January. Um, real good guy, very knowledgeable about bees, and they have a great operation from what everybody's told me out there. So, all right, I will see you guys here shortly when we get out there. Hi, Divided Acre Farm folks. I'm Greg Burns here at Nature's Image Farm and we're installing some packages um, here at the Learning Yard. And wanted to bring you along and show you how we can uh, install a package of bees. Uh, what we've got is this is our Learning Yard and we teach and show folks different uh, setups and configurations, how to raise bees in those. Uh, and then sometimes what to do when everything goes wrong. Uh, last year we had a lot of trouble with uh, storms and wind and hives getting blown over. Um, so one of the quickest ways to remedy that problem was to take our hive stand, just flip it down and, and flip it over and have it on the ground. Um, so today uh, we're going to bring you along and we're going to install a package of bees inside of this tin frame deep. Um, and so we're going to walk you through that whole process. So a couple of things that we need to do that is we have our uh, one gallon bucket feeders that we use to feed the bees. Uh, you can see more uh, in, on that video on the Nature's Image Farm channel on these bucket feeders. You can see exactly how we use those. Um, of course, we need our three pounds uh, of bees. We have our queen inside of here. Uh, if you come around to the front here, you'll get to see the whole schmear. If you're not familiar with a three pound package, it's, it's literally just what it sounds. There's about three pounds of loose bees inside of the screen cage uh, with a caged queen on the inside and in a feed can. So. Uh, before we do all that, I'll just briefly explain and so while you see it, it'll make a little bit more sense. The goal of this is to get the queen out of the package and get her into the hive. Uh, and so to do that on a, on a regular queen cage, you have two sides. You have your candy end and you have your emergency cork. Okay, so when we go to install this, we're going to pull the cork off the candy end so the bees in the colony uh, can eat through the candy and get introduced to Mama Queen. Um, it takes about three to four days normally to do that. And then they've kind of unite. They've had time to acclimate and get to know each other. She comes out, starts laying relatively soon. And then the whole hive starts uh, kind of moving from there. Now, this queen is already inside of the package. Um, one other thing that we do um, and, and I started to do um, is put a little extra pollen patty on. Right now we're installing packages at the very beginning of April. As you can see here, the dandelions have just started to come on. Um, if you look around the farm everywhere else, you'll see 
all the pears are, are also starting to bloom. Um, we just drove these packages up from Georgia and just about 45 minutes south of here, when you get towards uh, just uh, about Caldwell, Ohio, and, a little, and definitely a little further south there, uh, the red buds are starting to bud and starting to bloom when you get down into the Charleston, West Virginia area. So we're only maybe less than a week or so away of seeing a lot of extra pollen come on. In the meantime, I wanna make sure we're just giving the bees a little bit of extra. So we're using um, these Hive Alive pollen patties to feed the bees the protein they need uh, and also some extra goodies to help them get off to a good start. So that's what we're gonna use that too. This configuration that you see here uh, is, a, is a wax dip box. Uh, doesn't need painted to last 20, 30 years easily. Uh, on the inside, we have some drawn comb um, from last year. So to get ready for the bees here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, there's, there's, there's several different ways that you could install um, these bees. I'm going to show you what I feel like is probably the easiest way, okay? Um, we're gonna use something called a shaker box. And you can just take an extra box that you might have. And we're gonna take these frames out. have this extra box and we're going to use that as a funnel when we shake the bees. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my sugar water. This is a very, very sophisticated high-tech piece of equipment uh, known as a water bottle and we've got it mixed with a little bit of Pro Sweet is the feed that we give our bees. We've got the two mixed together. We're going to shake it up. Now right now it's probably, what would you guys say, 50, 50 well the bees are flying. So it's probably 50 to 50, 55 degrees. Um, it's okay to do this. If it was a little cooler, I wouldn't do this. If it was in the 40s and I was installing a package, I probably wouldn't get them real wet. Um, what we're gonna use is this sugar water. And we're just gonna give, we're, we're gonna put a little bit out right on top of the bees here. I'm gonna bump them down. I'm gonna give another little drink there. And I'm, I'm using so very little moisture. And what that's doing is it's giving the bees not only something to eat, but it's also kind of coating them. That's going to help them kind of stay tight when I shake them into the box. They're not going to want to be flying up and going crazy. So we're going to bump them down. Then we're going to take the Luon right off the top. And it exposes the feed can. We're going to want to save this. We're gonna shake them down, pop the can out. Grab the queen, put the loo on back on top. And then we're, while we have the queen in our hand, we're just gonna quickly look, make sure that mama's running around and everyone's okay. You can see her with the red dot, she's running around. Okay, now, I'm gonna set my package just off to the side here. There's two corks. We just talked about that a little bit earlier. We have a candy side and an emergency side. We do not want to open the emergency side of the cork. The queen will come out immediately. They need time to get to know each other. So what we're gonna do is pull the cork off the candy side. I put that in my pocket. Whether I'm installing one or 10 or 20 packages, it's handy to keep those corks and then you can count those corks later. And if you come up short, guess what you're doing that day? You're going back through all those colonies and seeing which queen you didn't release. Okay, so now if you look, I've got the cork out of the candy side. Now the bees that are gonna be in the colony can come through and start eating through the candy to get to them and vice versa. So I'm gonna go ahead and install her right inside of these, right inside of the frames here. Probably my favorite way to do this is to just take where we have some drawn wax and I wanna take her with her screen facing downward and just press her right into the wax. Uh, where packages are fantastic is if you've got drawn comb or you have dead outs, you have all this equipment ready to go. So I'll squish her 
right into that wax there. I'll put her right inside of the box. She gets kind of squished in place and then I'll bring the next frame to her and just sandwich her. Okay, so now our queen is inside of the box, sandwiched between the comb. She can't fall, she can't go anywhere. We'll take that extra box. It could be a medium, it could be a deep, it really doesn't matter. And we're gonna put that right on top. I'm gonna put my piece of pollen patty on right over top of where the bees are gonna go, give them something to eat, and then let's get going with shaking the bees in. So as you can tell, they're, they're coming back up on the screen. We're gonna bump them down one more time. And then just start shaking them in. Put the lid back on top, put the package out here. I'm gonna open the lid on my, the plug on my lid, and I'm gonna put my feed right on top. And that's it. I'll leave the package out front so any stragglers can go back home. And that's it. Now what I'll do is I'll come back in about four days and I'll make sure the queen is out of that cage. If she's not out of the cage in four days, I'll remove the cork from that emergency side. From there, we're gonna give them seven days from today, I'm gonna to come back and I'm gonna treat the colony with the salic acid before the brood is sealed off. That'll make sure uh, any mites that they may have or they may go get and bring back home that we take care of those mites and knock them down and kill them uh, before those mites have a chance to get behind any kind of a sealed off cell. Um, so that's what we do um, for our initial package installation. Um, we'll I'll come back in, in one day from today, so tomorrow I'll come back and I'll just take this box off. What happens right now is if you want to bring the camera over, you'll see when we shook all those bees in there, they're kind of all just bunched in the bottom here. See that? Now, they're all, they're not flying around, they're not buzzing around, I'm not putting frames, trying to squish them into a box. They have time to just find their way into those frames, get around the queen, keep her warm. No work, no, there's nothing else I really have to do. I'll come back one day from today, take this empty box off if they're still on the sides. I'll just bump the box down, knock those loose bees back in there, and then put my lid back on and go on with it. Four days from today, I'll uh, again check on that queen, make sure she's out of that cage. If she's not, I'll open the emergency side, and then you can just put that uh, cage right back in the colony and kind of walk away. So that's how we install a package of bees. Uh, it's really simple, it's really easy, it's a great way to get um, some colonies of bees started early in the year. It's a great way to repopulate dead outs. There's a lot of great opportunities for uh, packaged bees. They're a lot of fun and it's a great learning tool for a lot of folks. So thanks for watching how we put in a three pound package here at Nature's Image Farm. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you on down the road in a future video. Thanks for watching.